It's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. We are doing a week in my life, and today is Tuesday, so I was off yesterday. This is, if you guys saw the last vlog, this is literally just a continuation of that. And this is my work week this week, Tuesday through Friday. So I'm headed to work. I'm honestly in, I'm in an okay mood. I have just recently been really thinking about my work life and if I want to continue working four days a week, which I know to a lot of people is going to sound like you're not working that much. I work four 10 hour shifts and I'm so thankful that I do that instead of working five days a week but I also do social media I'm also trying to grow my Botox business and only having like one day off a week to do all of that and to help me get ahead on content and film brand deals and stuff like that it's just not really working out for my schedule right now I do have the weekends but I really try like at least on Saturdays I don't do anything Sundays are a big work day for me and then like there's no t what time is there really to rest and what balance is there um, I am a Libra and I feel like you know some people might think that is free free stuff and I don't necessarily disagree but I do really resonate with the balancing that Libras do in order to like feel mentally well and happy and don't get me wrong I feel very happy right now it's just a lot and I go into my work week knowing that I'm literally going to be working all day until I go to bed and then I'm going to sleep for eight hours and then I'm going to get up and I'm going to work again because I the phone camera goes on the minute that I wake up in the morning and then my brain goes on throughout work and then I'm filming my gym routine and then I'm doing and then I'm seeing patients you know in the morning in the afternoon and then when I get home I'm cooking dinner but I'm also filming it and then I have to edit and then I have to post and I need to post I post on TikTok Instagram and YouTube shorts and it's it's getting to be a lot if I'm being completely honest but anyway that was a lot for my essentially Monday morning even though it's a Tuesday so sorry to throw everything on you guys but that's just what I'm thinking about this morning I am listening to a podcast a new podcast for me actually you guys know I love the toast which is kind of like a pop culture podcast but I also love true crime and I already listened to Crime Junkie this week. They post every Monday. I listen to Anatomy of Murder on Tuesdays. And um, I'm listening to a podcast called Beyond Repair right now. Beyond All Repair, sorry. And it's chapter three that I'm listening to. It's really good. It's about a woman who went to jail for murdering her mother-in-law. But we're looking at the case and really seeing if everything lined up for her to be the murderer so it's very interesting if you guys like that stuff I would highly recommend almost at work it's really a really short commute so hoping for a good day I know my inboxes are gonna be filled to the brim oh also I just realized that the matcha I've been using has milk in it I didn't even think to look at it as a mix because I thought it was just matcha I got it from Trader Joe's and now I'm like what the heck so I need to order a new matcha probably like a you know high grade like a good one so let me know any recommendations that you guys have i'm eating some leftover spicy vodka pasta that has no vodka in it um that i made i'm trying to remember when i made this maybe monday night so i'm not sure if you guys saw it but i'm just eating this and then i'm heading to the gym i finished with my patients for the morning and it's 11 55 so we're gonna go have a good gym workout and then i have a pretty packed schedule this afternoon I'm making tacos for dinner tonight something simple Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. It's a gorgeous day outside today. Let's see if we can check the temperature. It's been really hot in Florida. I feel, I feel that we are in summer. It's 67 right now, but the high today is 90. Wow. And we're all in the 90s the next week, so it is officially summer in Florida. Um, the humidity hasn't come around yet. That'll probably come end of May, but oh, it's also May 1st today. So happy May. We are headed to our morning meeting and then oh, we're headed over to our other office location to see patients for the day. Oh, did you miss mom? 
Yes, I missed you so much, sweetheart. Do you want to go outside and play? <gasps> Do you want to? Come on, let's go outside and play. Come on. Hi. Seth is at the gym right now. Work was really good today. It was pretty chill, honestly. I didn't have any students, which never happens. I usually always have at least one or two nurse practitioner students, um, which I don't mind at all. Like, I really do enjoy having them, but sometimes when I'm just by myself, they can just flow pretty easily. Like, I know my patients really well, unless it's like a new patient or something. So, it was pretty chill. I got home at like 6.30. I had my A team. Life is good. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think I told you guys. I'm going to freaking Europe. Seth and I booked a trip to Switzerland and Italy this summer for our six year wedding anniversary. But we're also going to a Taylor Swift concert. I have the best husband in the world because he is planning this whole thing. Honey, get out of the way. I'm playing with my friends. Your face is in the way. He saw a video essentially of this girl saying that Taylor Swift tickets in Zurich. Switzerland were cheaper than Miami tickets so you should just plan a trip to Europe and he was like mm, actually let's do that so he's planned this entire like this entire thing we just booked our flights yesterday we booked the Taylor Swift tickets yesterday I'm so excited we're going the first part of July and we're gonna be gone for 10 days also we are redoing our kitchen which I feel like I said in the last vlog so I just got off the phone with the guy talking about the quotes freaking expensive but it's an investment our home is like 20 years old maybe 25 years old and we want to keep it forever because we bought like the perfect starter home it's three bedroom two bath like a good neighborhood nice backyard and we want to keep it to rent forever and then eventually buy another house so wait is that dad is that dad oh my god it's dad so we're gonna rent it to kitchen. And then in the next couple of years, hopefully buy another house. We're also gonna put in a little pool out here as well. Morning. Packing my lunch. Okay. I'm headed back to work after the gym. I just did a back and biceps day today which is not my favorite but it's not my least favorite you know what i after like four days of working out every day my body is really tired so today was my fourth day i was just like let me just get in get out be done with it um and i grabbed a matcha with one pump of chai and oat milk from starbucks um and i'm headed back but i wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened to me today um because i feel like there is actually a lack of education or lack of knowledge on this both at my office in the general public and um, we feel like providers are really the only ones who know this but um, when you are talking about annual wellness visits that is a once a year requirement by insurance and I say requirement loosely because depending on what type of health insurance you have it's not like they're going to like mm, I don't know penalize you for not going to it but if you have like a Medicaid um, any type of like government insurance they typically make you go to those um, but it is a preventative wellness visit so it's something that talk it talks about we talk about prevention we talk about screenings like mammograms colonoscopies prostate cancer screenings um, all of that stuff and it's only allowed to be once every 300 and 66 days so for example I had a patient today that I did an annual wellness visit on them I believe on like 519 and they were booked for today and I had to my front office staff didn't know this like I cannot do an annual wellness visit on them unless they have um, changed insurances um, before the day that they had it last year like insurance is so picky about that and they will not pay for the visit um, so that is always something to keep in mind a good thing to know if you work in an office especially primary care obviously if you don't work in primary care it doesn't matter to you but as a patient just know that it needs to be so like the next day that I could do an annual wellness visit on that patient would be 520 and that's you also get into that with kids as well like when you do their well child visits they have to be like it has to be like the day after 
they cannot be before their birthday essentially so say you're doing a four month well child check and the patient is not yet four months old you cannot do a well child check a four month well child check on that day before they turn that age so yeah insurance is really picky about that stuff and i feel like i don't talk about insurance a lot on my youtube channel um so i just wanted to bring some knowledge to you guys about that we're headed back to work i have a full afternoon of patience so probably go by pretty quickly and then we'll go home we had our walk we took the everything shower my hair is now all clean i'm only washing my hair like once a week right now which is kind of nice and then i'm having an unreal dark chocolate almond butter cup these things are so good i get them from thrive market they're amazing you can also get them at publix i feel like you can probably buy them at target too i've just never shopped at target for them they're so good and then we're gonna watch um last night's episode of survivor I'm going to say, Charlie, today you all look noticeably smaller.